Ruto is now calling for a cessation of hostilities in Sudan, warning that any further escalation of the crisis will worsen the humanitarian situation. President Ruto, who spoke at State House Nairobi, says the ongoing fighting amounts to atrocities against humanity. As our very own Stephen Lato reports, more deaths have been reported today as more pressure piles for the two groups to silence their guns. As fighting continues to rock central Khartoum as the paramilitary rapid support forces RSF attempts to seize the Sudanese army headquarters. Bloody clashes have also continued to be experienced at Khartoum's main airport, which has been closed since Saturday. At the heart of the conflict is a power struggle between Hamedit and Sudan's military chief Abdel Fattah El Burhan. Both factions have accused each other of breaching a 24-hour truce that was meant to come into effect Tuesday evening. <laughs> President William Ruto is now calling for cessation of hostilities before the situation gets out of hand. Kenya is deeply alarmed that a misunderstanding over a single outstanding item in the political framework agreement, namely the time frame for the integration of the rapid support forces into the Sudan armed forces has degenerated into violent conflict. Kenya's president, who is among the three head of states elected to spearhead the peace talks in Khartoum, says members of the diplomatic community have been a main target and civilians in general have been caught in the crossfire. A pattern, President Ruto says, is a systematic violation of established norms and principles of international humanitarian law. And this situation is evolving into a threat to regional and international peace and security. Kenya implores the leadership of the two parties to ensure full compliance with the resolution of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development Heads of State Summit held last Sunday. President William Ruto further told Rapid Support Forces RSF and the Sudan Armed Forces that their actions amount to serious atrocities against humanity. So far, at least 296 people have been killed in the five-day vicious fighting with thousands displaced. Kenya notes that disregard for the resolutions coupled with the evidence of lack of commitment to ending the conflict, strongly indicates that attacks on diplomatic installations and personnel, as well as targeting of hospitals, hotels, and other vital public and social spaces, are deliberate, systematic, and tantamount to atrocities against humanity. The meeting held on Sunday by three heads of state, President Ruto, his South Sudan counterpart Salva Kiir, and Djibouti's Ismail Omar resolved to have an immediate ceasefire. Their attempts to visit Khartoum was halted by escalating conflict in the country. It is time to silence the guns in our region and continent so that we can focus on the urgent work of enabling our people to pursue opportunities and actualize their aspirations in peace and tranquility. Time is of the essence. For now, tension remains high in Sudan, with other countries like Japan sending in its military troops to evacuate their nationals. Stephen Letos, Citizen TV.